Before Hansi Flick coached Barcelona, before he coached the German national team, he coached Bayern Munich and did very well. Today we're going to see how he can do in the Premier League. Let's jump in and take a look. This one is called Flick Bayern. Now, unfortunately, there is no information on the page I got this from, no images, no screenshots, no description, no anything. So I am going to assume this is the treble winning ta uh, tactic he used when he coached Bayern. What was it? The German Cup. He won first in the league. He got the uh, Champions League. So he did very well that season, no question about it. But we're going to see how it does with our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side, as always, of Ipswich Town. So with all that said, let's jump in and see what actually happened. Well, as we take a look at the Premier League table, you can see Liverpool in second place with 80 points. 88 goals for is pretty nice comparison between the two. Unfortunately, 80 points is slightly down, but Arsenal winning the league at 82 yeah, you could probably get some back if you took control of this yourself. Again, this is just a flat sim. I'm not doing anything but holidaying throughout the entire thing. So if you took control of this, you could probably do a little bit better. Get those two points out of some draws or losses. Aston Villa in sixth place, though. 72 points is lower than what we'd expect from them as well. But 85 goals, not too bad. Liverpool's domestic cups gets to them to the Carabao Cup final 2-3 loss against Aston Villa though so someone won a trophy uh, FA Cup fifth round though loss against Arsenal 1-3 but they have a pretty nice run all the way to the Europa League final against Porto winning 3-1 so they get their trophy so overall, not a bad season at all. I mean, you've got some great times here. Winners of the Europa League, second place in the Premier League, only by two points. Runners up the Carabao Cup. Uh, I think you could do a little bit better, though. But overall, we've seen better. We've seen worse. Squad-wise, you do have some green there. Goals, 27 for Nunez, 22 for Diaz and McAllister. Very well done. 28 assists for Robertson, 21 for McAllister. Wow. And Mohamed Salah with a 7-3-5. Now, Aston Villa's domestic cup run look a little better. They got to the Carabao Cup final 3-2 win over Liverpool. We already saw that. But they get to the FA Cup and handily crush Arsenal 5-0 after beating Ipswich Town in the semis. Wow, that's pretty nice. And let's just make it three trophies this season. The Conference League final 5-0 over Fiorentina. That is impressive. So something happened in the league. I mean, again, it's only 10 points off of Arsenal in in the first place position. So I think you could definitely get some of these numbers back, some of these points back. But overall, this was an absolutely fantastic season in the Cups, at least for Aston Villa. Definitely one to take a look at. And the greens are just abound with this one. 27 goals for Diaby, 24 for Watkins, 21 for McGinn and Ramsey. Assists 18 for Matty Cash. This is doing real well. 739 for Diaby. Wow. Data Hub for Liverpool. You've got the non penalty XG per 90 up there. Really high. Shots per game is up there. The goals, though, it, I mean, it's, it's well above Premier League average, but still down from where I'd expect it, having done somewhat well. Uh, but you got the dribbles in there. Defensively doing fairly well. No question about it. 2.32 goals per game, and there it is. You're just not getting the goals in the back of the net. 0.84 conceded. 0.86 XG against. Aston Villa looking exactly the same attacking wise defensively you got a little bit down on the fouls made per game but uh, I mean it's pretty much on par though with Liverpool 2.24 goals per game 1.18 conceded 1.15 xg against Premier League stats Liverpool with 2.11 uh, points per game Aston Villa in sixth with 1.89 most goals Liverpool in first with 88 85 for Aston Villa it's not the highest we've seen by far uh, we've definitely seen upwards of 90 plus, but few shots against Liverpool in third with 244, Aston Villa in fifth with 343, most possession 56% for Liverpool, 53 for Aston Villa, most dribbles made Liverpool in second with 714, Aston Villa with 691, and then most shots for Liverpool in first with 677, 614 for Aston Villa. I'm not even going to leave you in suspense for this one. Ears pushed down doing fairly well themselves, 102 points, 115 goals. Now we're talking. We're back to the tops the way we should be in a handily fashion. I mean, you're well above Leicester too. So overall, it was a pretty nice job. Carabao Cup second round for Ipswich. 2-3 against Watford is where you lose out. We know they lost out in the FA Cup semis against Aston Villa in mil two. A very impressive run in the FA Cup. No question about it. Carabao Cup is standard, but Ipswich Town in first place in the championship. Love it. 
and only a small handful of green there. But 17 goals for West Burns, Chaplin with 16, 10 for Hurst and Broadhead, uh, and then assist Leaf Davis with 30. That is insane. And of course, a 7-4 nil for him as well. Points per game, 2.22 for Ipswich Town in first. Most goals in first, of course, with 115. Fewest shots against in first with 310. Most possession, 55%. Most dribbles made in third with 903. And most shots for in second with 686. But now, the tactic itself. We start out with a sweeper keeper in support, complete wing back in attack on the left, a wing back in support on the right, ball playing defenders in the central spots, a deep lying playmaker in support next to a DM in support, inside forward in support, Mark's specific position is most likely going to be the DR, that are, there you go, uh, an advanced playmaker in attack on the right, Mark's specific position is also the DL, and then an attacking midfielder in attack in the central spots with a deep lying forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality in possession, attacking with is fairly wide, underlap on the left and the right, but focus play down the left and the right, play out of defense, passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher, low crosses and run of defense. In transition, counter press, counter distribute quickly, and then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, and get stuck in. So how did it do for our three teams overall? I mean, pretty nice. Ipswich Town doing a fantastic job getting to first. Uh, I'm going to assume they just have the good players to put in those positions for the championship. Now, again, remember, this is for a specific team in a specific period of time, meaning it's for the players that were in those positions. Now, if you think this is not Hansi Flick's Bayern tactic, let us know in the description below. I don't know his, his formation. Uh, I don't know much about how he's used or how he used it with Bayern at least. But in this case... I mean, Liverpool in second place, doing fairly well. Aston Villa, not great in the league. However, three other trophies is fantastic. So something is clearly working along the way. The only real negative side to this is the goals just aren't going into the back of the net. There's not a lot of goals here. I mean, yes, 88 is nice. 85 is nice, both first and second in the leagues. We have seen upwards of like 95 to 100 goals uh, in some of these tactics. And it's attacking. It's just not as attacking as others, but it worked. Definitely want to check it out. But that's it for me, Savvy and FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.